Welcome to stage 13 of the 2017 Tour de France, where Warren Bogill scored a French victory on Bastille Day. Like and subscribe for more. French riders haven't won a stage at the Tour de France on Bastille Day since David Moncourt in 2005. Warren Bodil, Bogil did it as he attacked from the gun, rode of, on the offensive again and again and again for the polka dot jersey and then outsprinted no less than Naira Quintana, Alberta Contador and Mikel Lander to claim the fourth French stage win in this year's uh, Tour de France after older uh, Arnold de Mar, Lenien Camalgui and Roman Bardet. He's also the first Breton rider to win a stage at the Tour de France since Pascal Dino in 1993. Behind the four escapees, Fabio Aru retained the yellow jersey despite losing his teammate, uh, teammates early. Right from the gun, there were uh, Thomas Vukler and uh, Warren Bargill attack, uh, for forged into the lead at effectively ki uh, kilometer zero. Uh, then there was Sylvain Chavanel, Alejandro de Mancini and Philip Gilbert um, substituted them up the road while Michael Matthews of Sunweb reduced his deficit to Marcel Kittel of Quick Step by two points in the points competition at the intermediate sprint. De Mancini went solo at halfway into the ascent to the uh, Col Le Trappe with 73 kilometers remaining in the shortest stage of the 104th edition of the Tour de France. De Mancini was first at the top of the Col Le Trappe and after which uh, on the second climb of the day Alberto Contador went on the attack joined by uh, Mikel Lander of Team Sky. A second attack went off the front that included um, Warren Bargill as well as Naira Quintana. And those four eventually uh, grouped together just before the, uh, the top of the final climb of the day uh, for the run into the finish. As far as the uh, Fabio Aru's um, chances, as far as the overall in, into Paris is concerned, that got dealt a significant blow when Jacob Fulslack was forced to withdraw from the race due to a wrist fracture. He was riding the whole day, or most most of the day, with his wrist fracture, and I remember seeing him ride through the neutral zone before the race even started, sitting up in the saddle with his arm hung down at, down at his side, because it was simply too painful to hold on to the handlebars with every single little jolt that the bike went over, uh, shuddering up through the forks, handlebars and into his fractured wrist. The, um, as far as the final climb was concerned, over the day was concerned, you had uh, Warren Bargill cresting that first, increasing his lead in the King of the Mountains competition. And Froome attacked his adversaries both uphill and downhill on the final climb. But the eight man yellow jersey group reunited until Simon Yates uh, and Dan Martin uh, took off off the front to contest a sprint for fifth place behind the first four riders across the line. Uh, Contador launched launching sprint from far out, but even before the U-turn with 400 meters to go, Balgil was far, uh, smart enough to follow him, and this time he timed his sprint to perfection after losing stage 9 by the tiniest of margins to Rigoberto Oran. This is his first pro win since he won two stages in the 2013 Volta Espana. Another important factor to take into account as far as Warren Bargill is concerned, um, leading the King of the Mountains competition and winning today's sprint, is that as recently as the Tour de Romandie uh, this year, in which happened during the month of April, he fractured his pelvis. That's a phenomenal comeback for him. That brings me to the end of my report of stage 
13 of the 2017 Tour de France. Be sure to like and share this video, post any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And last but by no means least, until the two of us meet again, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers.